Hey guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. So in today's video I'm going to be doing the 10th and final video in my Pi game programming series or tutorials. Uh, and in today's video we're just going to be talking about finishing up the game, fixing a few bugs that I've discovered since the last video and that you guys have probably found as well if you've been running the program. And then we're going to be talking about what the next steps are and what we can expect to see from here and where we can go after having the knowledge that we've learned from this tutorial. So first of all if you guys have made it all the way to video 10 and are watching this, give yourself a pat on the back. That's very impressive that you've been able to sit through 10, uh, 10 to 15 minute long videos uh, and you've now created something that's pretty impressive as a first game or just a starter uh, project to start a learn Pi game. So if you've been able to understand even just some of what I've shown in here, then that's a really good sign and you guys are gonna be able to create more advanced games later on uh, by following more tutorial guides that I'm gonna be doing. So pretty much, I'm just gonna start off right now by fixing a few bugs. And I'll show those bugs to you right now. And this is what happens when you're developing games. Uh, so when you develop games, uh, you're gonna notice that you can't possibly think of every scenario that's gonna happen. For example, a bug that's in this game is while I'm jumping, if I hit the goblin, you'll see that our character goes down below the screen. Now the first thing we need to do to fix this bug is to figure out why it's happening. Now the reason that this bug happens, and it took me about a few minutes to figure it out, is because while we're in midair, what ends up happening is we run the player hit uh, method here, right? Which resets our Y to ground level, so 410. Now after we reset the Y, we don't stop jumping, meaning that although our character doesn't appear as though they are uh, moving downwards from jumping, the jump code that we have in our while loop that moves our character downwards I think it's like, let's see here, somewhere down here. Yeah, so if man is jumping, it's still moving our character downwards. So we move it to 410, and then since we're still jumping, we move down another like 50 pixels, which makes our character head um, just barely visible at the bottom of the screen. So the way to fix this is just to go into our man.hit method, which is, I believe, right here. And just at the very beginning, we're just going to say self.isJump is equal to false. And then we're going to say self dot jump count. I'm just going to reset that to the original value, which we had of 10, I believe. Let's just double check that. Yep. So jump count is 10 and is jump equal to false. So this way it's just going to stop our jump um, so that we shouldn't be going down. So let's test this and just make sure that it's working. All right. Just give me a second here. So let's wait for the golem to come back, jump up and there we go. So you can see now our character does not go below the screen. We'll test it one more time to make sure it's working. Uh, and everything seems to be okay. Now, another bug I ran into, and I'm going to have to show you quickly here, uh, is once the goblin disappears, watch this. I'm just going to run around, and you see it still collides with the goblin. So although we can't see the goblin, he actually is running around right now. He should hit me in just about a second now. Yep, because he's over there. So we need to make sure that our character is not able to collide with the goblin while the goblin... Uh, is well destroyed right so once we kill him uh obviously we don't want to still be able to collide with him because right now what what ends up happening is we just uh make the enemy invisible we don't actually like remove it from the screen so it's still moving around in the background we just can't see it so it's pretty easy to fix this we're just going to go down to where we have the collision between our goblin and our player and we're just going to create another if loop up here if statement we're just going to say if Goblin, I believe that's what I called him. Yep. Dot visible equals equals true. There we go. We can indent all this just by hitting tab. So that should work. There we go. And now it's only going to allow the collision between the two characters if the goblin is visible. Now I'm just going to double check to make sure that is the property I used. Uh, visible, yes. So now we can see if I run the program, let's make sure this is working. Uh, I'm just going to. Oops. Just gotta make sure we kill this goblin first and then we can see that now that the goblin is invisible I can clearly run across the screen and I'm not no longer colliding with the goblin because uh, Well, we destroyed him, right? So that's a quick fix to that bug now The other bug I noticed was the score up here. So once this becomes a negative number It starts to move off the screen now. This is a really easy fix uh, All I'm gonna do for this is simply just move where we're drawing the uh, the text So if, if we go to our redraw game window function I believe that's where we draw the text. All I'm gonna do is just move it back in the X by about, let's say, 
like 40, 50 pixels maybe. And now if we draw it and we get hit, you can see that it's gonna say negative five and it's no longer uh, going off the screen. Now you guys can play with that if you wanna move it closer to the right, closer to the left, uh, etc. And yeah, so that's about it for the bugs that I found. I'm sure there's probably a few more that you guys can think of. Um, for right now, that's all we've got. So now I'm just gonna go in and talk about next steps. So pretty much the next steps for uh, us and for this program is to now create uh, a more original game or to create um, just better games in general. So this was kind of not really a game, more it's just a starter project, just to kind of learn some of the different attributes of Pygame and how it works. So how two objects can collide with each other, how we can have sound effects playing, how we can have um, bullets shooting out of a character. So I really tried to make it pretty diverse in the way that I showed, well, how to use a class, how to use methods, so that you guys, if you wanted to create your own game, you would have the uh, tools to do so from just using this uh, tutorial series that I've done here. So that's why if you're looking at the game now, you're kind of like, well, in 10 videos, we didn't really accomplish too much. Um, this isn't really a great game. I don't want to show this to my friends, whatever. But all I'm trying to do here was just show you the different tools that you could use. So what I'm going to be doing on this channel is I'm going to be posting way more specific videos now. So now that I have this general tutorial series done, I think I'm going to be doing a video on, for example, how to code Pi game or uh, Pac-Man in Pi game, how to code um, like a, sh a shooter game. So like, you know, if you, I'm not sure if you guys know the Astro Asteroids game, I'm not sure what it's called. You have a little plane that comes here and enemies shoot down, come down the screen and you have to shoot them before they hit you or the edge of the screen. Um, I'm going to be showing how to do uh, videos like that. And then for all these videos, what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to sit down and record them all in one sitting. So I'll record like an hour, hour and a half, and then I'll break that up into two or three videos uh, and I'll post them within a few days. So that way, unlike this series where you guys had to wait for a long time to uh, see the videos, they'll come out right away so you can follow along with them instantly. So if you guys want to see videos like that, make sure you subscribe to the channel and you hit the like button on this video. And if you have any ideas on games that you want to see how to program, um, and I see a popular vote, if you guys see anything down in the comments below, um, and you want to see a video on that too, make sure you like the comment, because I obviously want to be making videos that you guys want to watch and that you guys uh, want to learn how to do. So if you have any ideas, make sure you leave them down below. And that's been it for this video. So I'll see you guys in the next uh, tutorial series.